Can I go around here? Oh, yeah. Fast travel. Nice. Yo, yo, yo! Let's go straight to this guy and we'll search some stuff later. So this is the guy that we read on the notice, right? Didn't he drive someone else out, making up lies? So I'm on edge with this guy. Territory progression. Everyone else is much higher than I am. Is that <laughs> I feel like I've been just fighting everything and not really doing the quest that much, but then everyone else is much higher. I don't know. Greetings and well met, traveler. You look to be healthy and fresh. We're glad to have you. Have yourself a pint of mead at the tavern. Have two. <laughs> Winswood is a bountiful territory, and you are welcome here. Yeah, this guy seems like a scumbag. I have a message from Watcher Fired. Oh, bother. I knew this was coming to cast a pall over the day. Very well, let's see it. Yes, yes, the corruption's getting worse. We're all doomed, etc., etc. <laughs> it's never good news, <laughs> is it? Chatted Mountain started spewing corruption again, too. It's going to be a long day. Should have listened to that old fool years ago. Oh, well, bygones. Some old hermit came through here decades ago, raving about corruption. Guess he knew something. Heard he went toward Monarch's Bluffs. Uh, keep an eye out for him if you're ever off that way. What's the immediate yes, concern? the Shattered Mountain. Uh, luckily, it's across the island, but it clearly means corruption is spreading. Watcher Fayed's report only reinforces that. I trust you are the one he mentions here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're quite a hero by Tahir's account. Oh, so let the corruption come, I say. We'll eat it for lunch. Make yourself at home in Winswood, my new friend. Take this message to Magistrate Korapati, and then knock one back in the tavern. You've earned it. <laughs> Thanks. Welcome to the Arcadas. Hey. Enough old princes. <laughs> thanks, Dak. Yeah, thanks so much, buddy. Pass in chat for Dak. Welcome to the arcade, is enough all. Make sure you join Discord as well, so you get your uh, Twitch squad roll. All right, Julius hat. Upgrade my hat that I've already got. Talk to Deep T Korapati. Hello. Truce proposal. On the island of eternal life, there have been established three parties of interest. Ah, here we go. So these are the factions. The Marauders, the Syndicate, the Covenant, that shall thusly be referred to as factions. These factions represent their individual interests and motivations that shall be introduced to every new denizen, henceforth referred to as the subject of Aetonum. Aetonum or Aetonum? Uh, once all three introductions have been issued, the subject is to return to the magistrate of the settlement and make a formal, immutable decision on which faction they wish to swear their undying allegiance to. Henceforth, the subject shall belong to their chosen faction and be available to fight in wars for settlement. Gubernational? Gubernatorial? gubernatorial <laughs> control, as well as conduct missions for influence within their faction. All members of each faction agree to conduct their fighting away from the settlements of Aetonum, as they hereby decreed sanctuary. So the pact is decreed, and so it shall be for so as long as there is life on Aetonum. No, the bloody factions refuse to sign the bloody truce. Perhaps some change in wording would convince a representative to come forward and unite the factions in this agreement. All right, the Vitae Aetonum Pact. So they have truce in this place, but what, they all fight outside? Of the camps. But everything games when you go in a place like this, it's like you get done for stealing if you pick anything. Oh, not here though. What's this? Governor's desk. Oh, shit. Territory upkeep. Well, I don't have any. So the territory is you place 
you claim the cherry tree and you get extra resources, more XP and stuff like that. But then you have to pay this territory tax on houses as well. What's that? I don't know. The governing company receives income from taxes and fees. Uh, fees. Is that it up here? All right. <laughs> what sound effect was that? All right. Talk to Deep T Karapati. All right, everyone's in a faction. Oh, that banner's pretty cool. Well, they've got a... Where were they? Got the Syndicate? Marauder. Covenant. And then what's the other one? Syndicate. There we go. They're down there. Oh, shall I speak to him? Uzma? No way. You can make Zuma out of his first name. Is that a sign? <laughs> Is he doing like a little dance? She is that is that a cat? Who cares? For years people doubted oh. me, insulted me. But now they look up to me. For I am a marauder. Alright. He says if I, if I speak to all three, something'll happen. The forge? So we've got some stun. Can we use that for anything? Oh wow. The great axe. Play armor. And you can add stuff as well to get special perks, maybe? Potential gear score. Here we go. Hello there, and welcome to Windsward. We're always pleased to welcome a guest, or even a new resident. I see that message in your hand. Is that the report from Watcher Fayed? Um, I'm just grateful to know Tahir is all right. I hope he returns soon. So Constable Doughty has seen this report then. I imagine he'll be oiling his armor, ready to charge into battle right away. Okay. Rumors about a hermit. If it's true that corruption is spreading rapidly now, then we must prepare. But there's no need to rush. We will take this one step at a time. Plenty, I'm sure. Ah. But for the moment, you should take care of yourself. You must be exhausted. Go and check in at the inn. Explore the town. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. I can craft one of them. So I get... I thought the axe was worth 17 coins, but that's what I get as well, isn't it? It's XP, coins, and standing. Can I change that? I've already what have I got then? I've already got that axe, right? Well, it's somewhere. Oh, here we go. Flint logging axe. Staff slot. Ears off staff slot. What's that for? And then fishing pole slot. <laughs> oh, is that level two? I think that might have been a level two flint logging axe. Uh uh, where's the journal? Oh no, it's the level one. Monarch's Bluff, level 12. Checking in. Alright. Uh, visit the inn and speak with Innkeep Swen to check in. I think we'll do that first. Because it's just here. Right, so is this just called, uh, what is it, Windsward? Or is it just, we'll just name Greenhaven. Is that just like the whole area, maybe? Is this the whole? Oh, no, 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 Fury. Fury Bay. So the settlement is called Windsward. Right, get some ale, shall we? How much coins? Uh... 284. Coin is capped at 500,000. Oh, well, darn it. Oh, wait. Oh, you can give people coin as well. Repair parts. Ears off. 
Ah, Azoth can be used for fast travel between shrines and settlements and to craft more powerful items. Azoth is primarily acquired by completing quests and closing corruption breaches. So, Azoth staff slot, does that mean that you can teleport without needing to be at the settlement? We've got an amulet slot. Hey! Visit the inn and speak to the inn, Suwin. Welcome to the Southern Breeze. May a gentle wind always guide you home. Do you wish to check in? We'd be happy to have you. Sure. Yeah. It's called Windswood. The Windswood Inn. Checking in. Would you like to check in? This will this will allow you to recall and respawn this settlement from anywhere in the world. Alright. Done. Windswood is now your recall point. Right, where's the bar? Is it just an inn? Or is the tavern somewhere? Yeah, this is just for sleeping. Pre loot. Oh, this. I can't see anything there, but it says there is. Preludes and ink horns. My kingdom for our crone tinctures to cure this demoni demoniacal sneezing. Yet and still, it is impossible to maintain a sour countenance in this. Verdant wonder, I was even able to barter for a new ink horn and quills. Come to think on it, literacy and letter writing are surprisingly common on this strange land. I suppose that is logical. We have nothing but time. Why not learn letters from a fellow? In a closed system like this, literacy spreads language as pathogen, though a most delightful con contagion, I dare say. Arriving in town, I found a proper place to wash the road dust from my throat. My smiling fancy occasionally me to whistle. Instantly, a gnarled oak of a man stood at my side, saying, Enjoy your drink, stranger, but best not be whistling, singing, nor dancing. At first, I thought myself the butt of some provincial jest. How positively Calvinistic. However, given the graveness of his countenance and immense size of his oaken knuckles, I thought it politic to aquis. I don't know, aqua, Whatever the hell that says. Everyone in the room was merry enough, but there was no music or singing. Conversation was kept to a low murmur. Ichabod Shaw. What a name. We got the first page. Oh, yeah. Oh, did we get... What did we get for that one? Yeah, Julius Hat. It's a lot better. Oh, no. No, it's not. Medium headwear to light headwear, but the gear score is higher. So, I need to get my gear score up. I don't know. I could wear that and then I've switched to something else. Leather armor offer a good balance of mobility. No, it's not. As, I'd rather have the armor. Until I know what gear score is all about. I don't know. Oh. Attribute points. Are you enjoying New World? Uh... Yeah, it's great, but... Done. That's about as direct as I can be. <laughs> there we go. Oh, what's there? I've got something else as well. It is... On the fire staff, life staff, ice gauntlet, freaking Thanos. Gauntlet that consumes mana to summon the freezing powers of ice spells. What? Great for dealing persistent damage by calling upon elemental storms, summoning ice, and utilize, utilizing freezing attacks that hinder and damage enemies. Hinder and damage enemies. What the hell? Gauntlets? That's crazy. Every weapon has their own special as well. There's going to be loads of different types of muskets, too. Go on intelligence. So, soon, I'll, I'll play with the fire staff a little bit more. And then we'll switch over to uh, the life staff soon. And, yeah, fire staff. So, we've got pillar of fire. Just deals 135% more damage at 15 mana cost. Flamethrower? Create a jet of flames. So someone, I swear, so there it is. 
Meet your shower. I saw someone doing that just as I came in. That looked really cool. But I need to unlock like that and then I can go to it, I think. Flamethrower. Create a jet of flame from the tip of the staff, dealing 34% weapon damage each second. Each hit catches enemies on fire, dealing 3% weapon damage each for six seconds. So, heal for a third, let's say, and then does 3% damage for six seconds, so 18. So it's... But will it go through multiple people, maybe? Is it a, like an AoE attack? Let's go for more weapon damage. Ah, screw it, no. Pyromancer? Oh yeah, fl flamethrower. <laughs> like, yeah, what shall I go for? Hell yeah, flamethrower. All right, we out of here. Let's talk to uh, Deep T now that we've checked in. Later, buddy. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, that was much faster than I expected. <laughs> Don't even try to tell That's me you actually said. rested. But you're an adult. You can decide when and where to make yourself at home. Did I need to sleep there? I don't think it... I'm pretty sure the nighttime thing is server side, so I don't think that'd change. Maybe it just gives me like a rested bonus. We'll see though, I might go back and sleep. All right, I've already got that. You are now officially a resident of Windsward, whether that is temporary or not. And that means you should become acquainted with the settlement. I would suggest you start by visiting the trading post. Then check out the storage space I've made available for you as well. After that, I suppose we'll put you to work. Nice. The marketplace. Open the trading post. Open a storage shed. Cool. So I can uh, store some of my stuff here. Although. Oh, damn. Wait. Press play. What was the other one? Yeah, that is the best. Gear score. How does that work into stuff? Once I get my gear score to a certain level. Oh, like here. There we go. The overall power level determined from your equipped items. Yeah. Gear score 87. So you get points for like cosmetic wise? Because that Julius hat is obviously lower in armor, armor but more in gear score. Hmm. Right, so marketplace. It's over here. Is that it? Storage shed. How much storage we got? 1,000 kilograms or whatever that is. All right, so I can store these that I'm not going to use. Um. Right click maybe, I'll just drag. <laughs> Is it a quick, what's the quick star? Shift click. Poultry, I'll keep all the stuff I can craft on me. Uh, I don't need that, they give me exact, I can't believe that's a, a weapon. One that we can make for a bit of wood and flint was um, a quest item. Anyway, we'll star it. I think that's it. I don't really have that much. Um, stone, flint. I'm not even over half of my uh, weight capacity yet. Got some milk. <laughs> yeah, I don't really need it that much. Uh, open the storage shed. We've done that. Has it not ticked it off? It's open. Oh, then we can. Oh, we got. I can view my storages from other places. View or transfer. That's cool. Nice. All right. Uh, I wonder from the crafting things, can you grab stuff from your storage or do you need them actually on you? So why is that not? Oh, I don't know why I just, it won't ticked off. So I went in it again and now it ticked it off. Fair enough. Why should we try and sleep? 
She mentioned sleeping and that I didn't do it. I know I really want to sleep. <laughs> do I speak to you? Welcome to the southern breeze. No. May a gentle right. wind always guide you home. Yeah, so I'll just go to, to check in. We'd be happy to have you. I'll just go to a bed and sleep then. I was already on like a bed. Ah. I thought it might give me a, a rested bonus or something like that. Ah, that is supposed to be on that, I think. Well, that's a little bit of a bug. All right. Oh, fuck. Oh. Collecting water? <laughs> Is it heavy? Ah, oh, not really. Cooking ingredient can be consumed, but only provides a very small amount of HP recovery. It's an ingredient. I'll keep it. Trading post. Hey, hey, hey. So, it's all this. Oh, damn. Is this what other people are selling? Only 15? Right, we've got loads of treated wood bows. Well, only because we've got it. Interesting. It's saying none, but... Oh, orders. Fire staff uncommon. What's the uh, fire? Yeah, there we go. Two, three, two, two, three, two, two. Oh, they're all different. Is it because maybe someone's crafted it with a. Oh, and there's different stats on this one as well. Plus 10 intelligence on that, or plus 3 dexterity and plus 6 focus. Well, the focus is a bit pointless on a fire staff, focus is for the life staff. That's the one someone knows about what's going on. It's 40 for that. That's even more as well. 232. Two. So if that face staff does 232, two, what does mine do? Wow. It's only 40? Damn, I want to craft my first weapon though. I want, to, I want it to be good. Right, let me talk. I feel like it's close, right? Making my own weapons. Hell no. That was easy enough, wasn't it? Like that pays for half the stuff. Anything you like here in Windsward, we will keep it safe. We always welcome any trading goods as well. All right. Uh, it seems Constable Darty has taken quite a liking to you. He already wants to rope you into his grand plans for the settlement. Uh, what are his plans? I strongly suspect <sighs> that it will have something to do with drinking or preparing for battle. He's asked to see you. I would ask you to try to keep him in line, but I think it would be a wasted effort. Already got that. Like, speak to this dude. If I follow the quest line, it's going to allow me to craft something soon. It's got to. We meet again. Do I have like a flashlight or a, a light? No. Ah, there you are. It's time for us to get to work, my friend. The Windswood settlement won't defend itself, you know. And you and I, oh, ho, ho, we're going to make a great team. Yeah. I... I've decided to start amassing resources, supplies, anything we could possibly need. When the corruption comes, oh, we'll be good and ready for it. Ah, that's the spirit. Ah. Let's start with raw materials. Wood, stone, and rawhide. Gather what you can, and then get it all refined at one of our workshops. It's good, honest work. <laughs> yes, uh, I, I wish I could go with you. Right, so wood, stone, and rawhide. We know where to get all them. But hammer case. So is this like a look of the draw? Bind on pickup. Open this container to get items usable at around. Is that 
Ah, so there may be a weapon case. Someone opened it, and then the stats, you know, we saw dexterity and focus and then intelligence. Maybe the stats that are added to it is randomized. So this is an armor case. Oh, I should have got a little bit more... more stone when I was out there. All right. Complete qu quest to help the settlement before investigating rumors. Yeah. That's what we're doing now, just investigating quests, so. <laughs> Let's go back out. Is this the way out? I think this is the way out. I know where stone is. We know where the trees are. Woodlouse invasion. There are few pleasures greater than finding a big fat woodlouse after taking the time to rustle one of the many bushes of Aetonum. There's a few greater shocks though than finding the buggers have made a home in your wooden furniture. Beware taking home your woodlouse collection and always keep it in your bag lest you want to lose precious chairs and chests and of yours to spark an infestation. Take it from me, you do not want to know how much pest removal costs in Aetonum. When the pests are the size of your thumb and breed faster than rabbits. What have you got on? Like some some kind of fur thing or something. Oh, can I chop this tree down? Go big or go home. Oh, mature tree. <laughs> too mature for my liking. Nice. Where do I crouch his as he does it? Must get a little bit more wood from this one. Yeah. Should we gather some for the road? For crafting, maybe? No, no, screw that. Oh, shit. Oh, you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hell yeah, Jacob. Right, we need to go over there because we need some stone unless there's some on this side. Oh, wait. Nice. I guess it gave you the hatchet and the pick because you needed to gather these, so it's for people who didn't craft it at the uh, campfire. I just look like an old man without my blue hair. Nice. Alright, craft timber at the wood shop. Craft stone block at the stone cutting table. Craft coarse lever at the tannery. Let's get a little bit more for the road. Looking for a company to join. So we have groups and factions, so to commit or guilds, I guess. Maybe. So there's a guild, like we could have an arcade one. Oh, look like that. More territory to claim. What the f <laughs> Stelios, level two, just come straight out here. What a boss. 